Hello and welcome to Brett's Picks. It is Thursday, first week of December, Brett. <laughs> yeah. This is Brett Whitehead. I'm Gwen Troyer, and we're going to talk to you about college football today. Brett has suggested several games. We're going to have pickers that have picked through the games, show you the information about college playoffs leading into the championship game, and then maybe we'll talk about some high school games and basketball. some other stuff, basketball, and kind of get into it. So let's set this in motion. First, we want to look at the college football rankings that was set out this past week on Tuesday the 3rd. Yes. And Brett was paying attention, I was paying attention, so here's a look at that. And I want to tell you something. Kind of odd, but you know, there's a lot of weird justifications on that. There it is. Look at that. So Oregon has been there the last few weeks, sitting all there, you know, sitting there in their little kingdom wearing their crown or whatever. Texas, Penn State, Notre Dame up in the top four. Then Georgia has creeped into five. At creeped number five. Into five. But here's something we need to talk about. Georgia will play Texas this weekend. We'll talk about that Saturday. in just a minute. But Saturday. That's one of the games you set up. And if one of those, which one of them will lose, I think one of those is gonna drop down. That should place a shift you know, in the next set, which is Ohio State, Tennessee, SMU, Indiana, and Boise State. Then creeping in there is Alabama at number 11. And let's take a look at the next setup. This is actually the proposed games. These are not locked in, but the next slate we have here shows what games we'll be playing as if, uh, if these rankings were all set in motion today. So you see that on the left, you have Ohio State. And Tennessee. And Tennessee, Ohio State being the top seed would host that game. The winner of that game would play Oregon. Below that is Penn State and Arizona State. Penn State would host that game. The winner would play Boise State. Over on the right side, Georgia and Indiana. If, uh, and Georgia would be hosting that game. The winner would play Texas, which ironically, Georgia and Texas are playing this weekend in yeah. the SEC Championship. So that, that's not going to work out. Georgia's not going to play Texas again. That, that One of those teams is going to drop. Notre Dame would host Alabama, and the winner would play SMU. Then you would have your uh, final four games. The winners would then you know, play in two brackets, and then the winner of that game would be the championship. All right. So even though that's suggested, that's not set in stone because it's Sunday. The eighth. Have, the eighth. They're going to have all this narrowed down to who's what, who's picking, and we'll have a better look at yeah. that next week yeah. on Brett's Picks. We'll talk about it. All right, here's a look at the pickers. And by pickers, I mean those that have been with Brett the entire season. Gary Owenby just dominating. 91 wins and 39 and 39 losses. That's incredible. Brett, you're 10 behind him at 81 and 49. So not bad. You actually improved the past four weeks. You've done really well yeah. in moving up and you can see the whole gamut all the way down to number four. And Mr. Langdon too. Mr. Langdon's done well. Coach Massengill, this is not so good, but that's okay. Um, anyway, let's look at this week's games. The first game, and this is Championship Saturday. So, thinking about all of these games, the first one is Conference USA. Western Kentucky sitting at 8-4, and four, playing another 8-4 and four team, Jacksonville State. That's a 7 o'clock game on CBS Sports. Brett, who do you have in this one? I'm going with Jackson State. Jacksonville State. So, that's a good pick, Brett. Uh, they're actually... Uh, Indications are they should win that game. Again, that game is Friday, so there's a few games the on six. Friday, the and six. then there's several games on Saturday. The next game we're talking about Mark. Mark. the championship, Mountain West. This is uh, pretty unique. You have number 20, UNLV. They're a 10 and 2 team playing at Boise State. Number 10, Boise State, 11 and 1, and Boise State. Uh, of course, you know, wins this game and have a chance to uh, play on in the playoffs. All of these teams will have a placement in the playoffs. That's an 8 o'clock game on Fox. Who do you have, Brett? Boise State. Boise State with the win. Those two, you know, ga those two games, 
The first one in the, in this one? Yes. They play tomorrow. They play they tomorrow. Play on Friday. Boise State, you know what color their field uh -huh. is? The turf on their field? Uh -huh. It's blue. <laughs> it's really weird, but they've been doing that for years. Back when I was in high school, yeah, that was one of those weird things. You're like, the blue field? All right. <laughs> Next game we have, and this is another Friday game, is Tulane, nine and three, playing against the formidable this year, number 24 Army, who had their only loss against Notre Dame. Eight o'clock game on ABC. This is the American Athletic Championship, the last game that we will have on Friday. Who do you have, Brett? I'm going with Army. Army, okay. Also playing tomorrow. Also playing tomorrow. That's the last game for the Friday They games. will play Notre Dame, they will play Notre Dame, uh, Notre Dame next week on the 14th. No, they will play um, Navy. 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 They've already played Notre Dame, but you're right. Yeah. They play the uh, uh, Navy Midshipmen, yeah. and that's a big game. That's you know, it's always in the snow. It's just crazy. All right, let's go to the Saturday games. Saturday game, first one is number 16 Iowa State sitting at 10 and 2, playing against number 15 Arizona State, also 10 and 2. This is the Big 12 Championship. Noon game on ABC. Brett, who do you have? I'm more uh, Arizona State. Arizona State. Now, uh, that's a good pick. And both teams 10 and 2. They're both 15 and 16. So, either way, but the Big 12 championship. There's a, there's a lot at stake for these two teams. Okay, next game. Ohio, 9 and 3, against Miami, also of Ohio. Not to be confused with the Miami Hurricanes. Yeah. Uh, this is the MAC Championship. Another noon game. This one's on ESPN. Who do you have, Brett? Miami of Ohio. Miami Ohio. of Ohio. Do you know who was a famous quarterback that played there? Hmm. He later played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> yeah, he was a quarterback at Miami of Ohio. All right. Next game. This one's a big one. It is the FS or FCS rather. Championship round two. It's one of several games, but we picked this one because it was very interesting. You have Montana, who does well against South Dakota State at 10 and 4, hosting that one. Two o'clock game on ESPN Plus. Who do you have, Brett? Uh, South Dakota State. South Dakota State, all right. Which is 10 where, and 4. That's where Josh Heupel's from, South Dakota. Yeah. He went to high 10 and, school. 10 and 4. There. They're 10 and 4. They're doing really well. Montana Grizzlies are doing good too. So, hey, let me, let me point this out. So my family, the Schroyers, originally from Wyoming and the Montana region, actually the uh, basketball gym at Montana State is named after a relative. Yeah, it's the Schroyer gym. How cool is that? Yeah. The Schroyer Arena, right? <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, next game we have, this one is big time. Number five, Georgia. Number two. Playing against number two, Texas. Look at those records, 10 and two and 11 and one. This is a four o'clock game on ABC. This is the SEC championship. Winner of this one gets to have a bye in the playoff yeah. games. And the other one will likely still be like in the playoffs. Play, like play, like play one of those two. That's right, that's right. Out of the first round. So whoever wins this one gets a bye the first week. They don't have to play. Who do you have, Brett? Texas. Going with Texas. Okay, the Little Orange. What do, you, and, what do you, what's the nickname for Texas if you're a Tennessee right? fan? The Te Other Orange? Yeah. Okay, the Other Orange. The okay. Texas Longhorns. The Longhorns. That's the, that's Bevo. the name of the, the Texas Longhorns. Bull, his name's Bevo. I yeah. don't even know what that stands for. There's probably an acronym or something. All right, next game, Marshall, 9-3, playing against Louisiana, 10-2 team. 7.30 game on ESPN. This is the Sun Belt Championship. And let me tell you, this one means a lot too. These are two teams that probably don't get a lot of accolades, yeah. but they have a pretty good record. Who do you have, Brett? Uh, the team. The, the Louisiana? Yeah. All right. Louisiana. Lu Why don't we just say Lousy? <laughs> Louisiana. That's the way they say it down there. <laughs> Trevor Walker would tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> He's got family in Louisiana. All right, next game. This one is... Uh, Penn State sitting at number three, doing really yeah. well. They only have one loss. Yeah. That's against Ohio State, playing number one Oregon. It's in our bright. It's in our. And there they sit, alone at the top, a two-loss team, twelve and two. This is the Big and Ten. And eleven to two, Penn State. Eleven and one. 
The Big Ten Championship. 8 o'clock game on CBS. Who do you have, Brett? I'm going with uh, Oregon. The Oregon Ducks. Yep. Yeah, I wonder what uniform they're going to have. You know, they have the crazy Nike uniforms. Yeah. They always do something big. So, 8 p.m. game on CBS. We have any other games, or is that it? I think we have one more. This is number 17, Clemson. And they're 9-3. and three. They're playing and against the SMU. SMU at number 8. Also hoping for a bye in the uh, playoffs. Uh, winner of this game, 8 p.m. game on ABC. This is the ACC Championship. And who do you have, Brett? SMU. The Mustangs. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. And is that the last game? It is the last game. Yeah. So I should have known that. I have no paperwork in front of me. <laughs> so that's it. That's all of the championship games on Friday and Saturday. Uh, you can pick your own picks and want to send those to Brett, whatever you think your picks are going to be. Maybe he can keep up with it and tally <laughs> somewhere separate. Um, but we're closing out the season. We've only got a couple more weeks. Uh, next week, we'll talk about uh, playoffs. That's all we will have, playoffs. And maybe the FCS. And bowl, game, and bowl games. And some bowl games. You're right. There's yeah. a ton of bowl games to be played. They will have That's that right. sa uh, Sunday, so too. Sunday, they'll have that as well. Yeah, the uh, championship uh, bracket will come out along with the rest of the bowl games. Now, what else you want to talk about? You, you had watched some basketball. No, I week. kept up with it. Kept up with it? Yeah, I kept so up with it. So if you don't know this, Brett has a login with Max Preps. No, it, this other, it's well, live. It's another app, okay. okay. Live sports. Live sports. And he does scoring and keeps up with, you know, who's doing well and what and traveling. Not, he also watches the game. It's so. not, uh, it's not like keeping up with all the game. Uh, like, oh, just the scores? Yeah. Okay. So which scores did you keep up with? Walker Valley in Maryville. Okay, was that the boys or the girls? This is the girls. Okay, the girls. They, uh, Maryville won 62-27. They won big, yeah. Maryville putting on some steam against Walker Valley. What about the boys? I'm gonna uh, do two games for the girls. Okay, the other Mick, girls game is? Mickman County and Telco Plains. And Telco Plains, that's probably a semi-rivalry there. Close Tele game. Telco Plains won 61-55. Wow. So right down to the last minute there. Bradley uh, girls won 59-16. to Over Knox Catholic. And that was a big game. That's two state champions. Different classifications. But the Barretts won their championship last year. The, uh, I guess they're the Irish. And they won their championship. Then the boys. Let's talk about the boys. Walker, Walker Valley, Valley boys. Lost by one. And that's at Maryville, right? Yeah. So that it, game. It was 76 to 77. Wow, that's very close. McMinn County lost 59 to 68. Okay. And Bradley boys won, uh, lost. And a close one. 61 Up to 60. Knoxville Catholic. So the 66. Pretty good team at Knox Catholic playing against. Uh, Bradley Central, who's a very good team. The boys are really playing well. All right, let's talk about some games coming up in football for high school. No, no, this is basketball. I'm sorry, for basketball. Uh, the, My bad. Uh, State tournament's already played. They're starting no, they're tonight. starting. They're starting tonight. Tonight. Yep. Baylor in, and, in sa Central and play. Saturday. I'm not even in. Uh, Baylor and McCauley yeah. play tonight, and there's three games per day. Starting Saturday too. So there's three games tonight, three games tomorrow, and three games Saturday. Starting Saturday the 7th. Yes, but starting tonight, McCauley and Baylor playing. So first games you want to talk about, McMinn County. McMinn County traveling to Science Hill. Johnson City up there, that's a long starts drive. At starts at 7. 7 o'clock game. Is that tonight? Tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Bradley will play. Ooh. Cleveland. At the Dome. Well, it's not the Dome anymore. Starts at 6. What do they call that now? The, uh, the, the Raider Arena? Yeah. No more Dome. Starts at 6. 6 o'clock game. And, and that's the girls. Yeah. And then both of them will have a uh, boys game. Boys play at uh -huh. 7.30 here at Cleveland. And the one up at Science Hill you're talking about, there's an 8.30. McMinn, McMinn Central, no, McMinn County. Yeah. And so we'll play so at 8.30. 8.30. I guess maybe there's a travel variance. 
But those are going to be good games. We've got games to talk about next week, too, with basketball. And right. Walker and Walker Valley, we play them. And we play next them week on Friday. 13th. Friday the 13th. And we'll have a show next week on the uh, We will the, on Thursday, 12th. the 12th. Yeah. So the 12th. Tell but, your friends. Tell your friends to watch this as well and share it on social media. Help us out. Help us get some more views out there. We want to make this fun for everybody. And we're closing on Christmas. I want you guys to check out Brett's shirt today. <laughs> He's getting into the Christmas spirit. Let's get cracking. Um, don't forget to take some cans. Not tomorrow, the next Friday. To the, uh, down in Chattanooga, Cleveland, and Dalton. Yeah, they'll have locations. I think uh, Life Care Center is hosting the one here. Yeah. I think that's right. And yeah, and I, I think maybe even uh, uh, somebody from local Channel 3 will yeah. be there. Maybe Paul like, Shaheen. It will do, no, they will, they will stay in Some, Chattanooga. Somebody will be up here from local Channel 3. And you yeah. can say hi to them. Starts at 4.30 in the morning to 6.00. So plenty of time for you to drop some canned goods off. And also, let's talk about one more thing before we end this. This Saturday, not only is it, you know, championship football being played, it's also the Cleveland Christmas Parade. Yeah. And I want to invite you and everybody that's listening, share it with your friends and family. Come out. Uh, you can find information on the Main Street Cleveland website or on Facebook on their uh, page about the route, it starts here at, Bra uh, at Bradley, goes up by the boys club, circles down on, what is that, um, Broad Street and comes back up Coey Street back and then shoots back down Inman Street towards Bradley again. But it's a real fun and festive time. It's going to be cold, but it's not going to be rainy. Uh, there will be several high school clubs and organizations out there, the bands from all three high schools, the JROTC groups from all three high schools, several clubs and cheerleaders and elementary schools and civic organizations and churches, 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 filling that up. But the last thing you get to see is some horses coming through and then <laughs> Santa Claus is going to yeah. be there. So lots of candy too. So come out and get some candy, have some fun. It will be televised. I know Steve Hartline's really excited to have that on mixed TV. So you can watch that. You can watch it on your phone. On, you there. On, you, on YouTube, too. On YouTube and Facebook. So you can sit on the sideline of that, and you don't see anybody coming. You can turn it on and watch some of it online and get some narration to go along with it. Uh, but it's going to be a fun, festive time. It's always a big event. It's probably one of the top three. And I guess that's all we have for this episode. You got one more? Um, it's going to be in the parking lot back here. Yeah, you can't come in, though. That's just for the people in the parade. Yeah. You can't come in that. It's, yeah, it's closed off. Please don't come to Bradley. It's in the parking lot uh, yeah, but don't right come, over here. Don't come to Bradley. They won't let you in. <laughs> That's not part of the parade. That's where they stage the stuff. So, yeah, right. Yeah, like right them before. Them the they can't come in. No, right before come it comes. No, um, you can't come in. So don't come to the parking lot. Come. He's telling you where they're going to stage it. Right out here, like yeah, right out in front of the road. Right in front of the school. Yeah, go on the road. That's where it's going to be. Right in front of the school. Closed off. It's going to be safe. No traffic going through anything like that. So lots of fun, though. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Our next show, uh, Thursday the 12th. Thursday the 12th. So until then, we'll see you on the sideline.